How's it going? Fox back again for Sound Design Tutorials. Uh, a little quick tip today, serum tip. I'm going to show you how you can sidechain your sounds inside serum rather than setting up a sidechain compressor inside Ableton. Um, you don't have to do any routing, you don't need any impulse response. You can just use an LFO to do this. It's very, very easy, very, very simple. Um, so, yeah, I'll just show you again this sound. Like dry without any of the modulation. <laughs> As I turn this macro now, I've got this uh, modulating a couple of things, mainly the amplitude of all three oscillators, the volume. So as I turn this macro knob around, you're going to hear the side chain come in. It enables you to sort of mix it the way I've got it set up. There you go, easy peasy. Um, I will remove all the modulators that we've got going on. So we've got a clean slate. So in the matrix section, I've got an LFO2 on the warp, which is doing nothing, I believe. A tiny bit of sync modulation. So everything's all got it. It's just a basic super soy sort of sound. Uh, I've got a square wave on the sub, a sawtooth with a bit of sync on oscillator A, and a sawtooth with a bit of asymmetry on B. This is what it sounds like. So side chaining, what side chain does when you use side chain compression is it uses the input from some material you've got on your track. Nine times out of ten people use a kick or they use a little click as a dummy, a sort of sleeper track. You use the impact of that kick to duck the volume of the sound that you're you you want to compress it compresses it and then releases it back up you have varying amounts of control over that um, using the attack and decay and uh, different RMS modes and stuff with sidechain compression if you don't know what you're doing it can be a bit fiddly so the easiest way to do it if you have a synth that is as capable of as serum is to do it inside your synth and the way we're going to do that is simply just to modulate the volume um, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create a side chain -y sort of shape. If you go into the side chain inside the folder for the LFOs, there are some side chain shapes. Some of them are pretty good. This is the closest one to what I use. Side chain 7 is a little bit more like the sort of curve that you would see a compressor making. It's that sort of typical shark fin. But yeah, I normally just design my own. And the way I do it, um, I set it to a quarter note, BPM, anchor it, and trigger it. So every time a new chord comes in, it's going to restart this LFO. It's going to do a quarter note. That's like four to the floor. One every beat, you're going to get this cycle. Um, yeah, and this is the shape that I do. It's pretty much standard all the time. You want half of the amount, virtually nothing, or dead flat, up to a square wave, a square shape with a tiny little bit of cut off in the end. So now you've created your LFO, all you need to do is map this to all three volume knobs. So drag it drop it on go to the matrix section make sure they're all full it's not having the desired effect at the minute because the volumes are already on so we're only sort of pushing them forward from where they are at the minute this is where the macro knob comes in handily so we want to use this macro knob to pull the volume down to zero of all three oscillators so what this does is as you increase the macro knob it's going to pull the volume down which then lets the LFO sort of push it to maximum and give it that pump. as easy as that ladies and gentlemen I mean you can assign the macro knob to a mod wheel or anything like that so it's really straightforward sometimes I apply the same macro to the aux source of the LFO as well but you don't really need to do it as long as you set the macro to turn the volumes down so simple as that create your side chain LFO shape I mean there's no point in me giving you this side chain shape as a pat as a thing because it's, it's virtually the same as the one as I said I think it was number five it's virtually the same as that if you 
want to slacken it off a bit. Change the curve. So yeah, create your side chain shape. Apply it to every volume, the, vossil, the volume of every oscillator you, you, you got on. Then apply a macro knob to the uh, volumes and set it to negative. So as you turn the macro knob, it's moving the volume down, but the LFO is sort of pushing it up wide open, which gives it that pumping effect. Very neat trick, very easy to do. There you go, how to side chain your sounds inside Serum rather than using a side chain compressor externally. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something. As always, subscribe if you did enjoy this. Plenty more tutorials to come. Cheers.